Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. All right, guys, so from the title, you guys already know this is going to be a Fashion Nova try on haul. I've been getting myself summer ready and picking up some pieces from some stores online. And Fashion Nova was surprisingly one of them. I say surprisingly because I'm not a huge Fashion Nova shopper, I'll be completely honest. I haven't shopped from them in probably about two years. And the last time I shopped from them, it was a huge horror story. It was a whole hot mess. And I haven't shopped from them since that's a story for another time but anyways I saw some really cute things on there not too long ago and I'm like you know what you know what let's just let's just let's just give them another shot I got a couple things to share with you guys today of course all summer friendly so if you want to see then of course please keep watching so anyways jumping into the items that I picked up it wasn't much but it was enough for me to actually want to share it with you guys this is the first piece right here this is called summer ready stripe dress this one was $14.99 and this is just a stretch dress I'm gonna go on their website just so that I can read what they're made out of just because sometimes I feel like it's really helpful to know what kind of material you're getting. 60% cotton, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. This is actually a perfect little tube dress for the summertime. I think this is going to be perfect for the summer barbecue, the summer cookout. Actually, when I first saw this dress, I'm like, no way in hell am I gonna be able to wear that. that this is it though. This is the dress, you guys. This is a size small. And when I saw this, I'm like, what? no way am I gonna be able to wear that because that's so short. I feel like my butt cheeks are gonna be saying hello to America the minute I bend over. But you guys, I was actually surprised because the stretch on this is really, really nice. It's not a super thin dress to the point that it's see-through, and I like that about it. I was actually very pleasantly surprised at the amount of stretch that it has. It hits me right above my knees, which is nice. You guys, keep in mind I'm petite. I'm only five feet tall, so if you are taller, use discretion or maybe even size up. If you are shorter, I would definitely say just get your normal size because this has great stretch and it's very comfortable. Even though it's comfortable, it's extremely form-fitting. I was very bloated when I tried this on, so expect it to kind of really go with the grooves of your body. I like that even though it's a tube dress, it did stay put. And the top does have the elastic right here that it's really, really comfortable and really grasps, 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 whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. It really grasps on to um, your body without falling and rolling over. I can tell that I'll definitely be able to wear this dress a lot. I'm definitely planning on styling this. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you have the little notification bell turned on because I do plan on doing a summer lookbook for you guys, just outfits that I would definitely wear in the summertime and I'm sure a lot of these pieces will make it to that lookbook. So if you wanna see how I actually would style them, make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. So in the summertime, I'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot of biker shorts this year. Biker shorts are definitely my favorite. My favorite. They're definitely the leggings of summertime for me. I just absolutely love them. Love the length on a biker short. I love that it's not necessarily long like a legging, but it's that legging material that's very stretchy and very forgiving. So needless to say, my next item are these Brooke Biker Shorts. This is the olive color, and I got these in a size medium. These were $9.99, and this is what they look like. These are 95% cotton and 5% spandex. They have a great stretch. They're not the thickest biker shorts. Show you guys from the try-on portion, you can definitely notice the demarcation of underwear. I did wear um, some regular, it's not granny panties, some regular bikini cut underwear just so that I can show you guys that it does show through slightly. These are a mid-rise, so they're not totally high-rise. However, of course, I'm gonna relate this back to me. Once again, you guys, I'm petite, I'm short, I have a small torso. These are high rise on me. They hit me right at my waistline. But nonetheless, you guys, these are a full stretch biker short. There's not much to them, um, but they're a good quality. So I like these. I will definitely be purchasing more colors. I got these in a medium. When it comes to biker shorts, I would always recommend that you size up, especially if you're working with a butt or if you have a little bit more cushion for the pushing. Is that how you say that? Pushing for the cushion? Cush cu I'm pretty sure it's cushion for the pushing. So these right here are the Comeback Distressed Bermudas, and these are in the medium blue wash. I really, really love these. And one thing about me is this summer I will be using and abusing Bermudas, especially distressed ones. They are definitely my jam. I have a pair there from Target that I have been loving ever since last summer. And I just love that a Bermuda isn't a short short. It's basically a biker length 
jean pay attention these run small i picked these up in a size medium and i'm so glad i did because there is no way that my butt and my thighs were going to squeeze into a small these do not have a whole lot of stretch so definitely size up girlfriend these are distressed they have a raw hem here sushi can i help you he has an issue with me doing anything without him hello You want your little nasty breath. Okay, he's like being very extra. My kids just don't respect me. These do have real pockets all around. They have five pockets, the two back ones, and they have the two front ones and this little one right here. Um, these are high rise, which is perfect. I love myself a pair of high rise denim, whether it is a short, whether it is a Bermuda or a regular skinny jean. I love a high rise, period. And yeah, these are 94% cotton, 5% polyester and 1% spandex. That 1% spandex is a dead giveaway at the little amount of stretch that it has. So once again, you guys, please make sure that you are sizing up because these jeans are great. They fit beautifully. However, they're going to be a disaster if you don't get your right size. All right, so this is definitely my favorite item that I picked up from this haul. And this is called the City Walk Belted Romper. This is the khaki shade. This goes for $29.99. This is a linen romper with a cowl neck. I've really, really been into cowl necks. Such a trendy and comfortable neckline because you don't have to wear a bra and usually with cowl necks it has extra material so that you don't feel like your nipples are poking out and stuff because usually you're covered with a cowl neck. This is belted with pockets and it is 80% rayon and 20% linen. The material itself is not stretchy but it does have this backing right here which does have the stretch which is going to be forgiving on you depending on your frame size and your bust size random facts and it's kind of funny I noticed on the website that it doesn't really say anything about this being a reversible belt however if you notice right here my belt is white because it's actually on the wrong side this is actually the side that it's supposed to go on the color and the material of the actual romper so it's all supposed to be this one shade, but I noticed that it actually looks really, really good when you reverse the belt, and you can do so comfortably. Like, it looks perfectly fine when you reverse it. It actually looks like it's meant to be a white belt. So I actually tried it on this way, and I really liked it because I like the contrast between the white and the khaki. So I'm not sure. It doesn't say anything about it being a reversible belt, but I'm pretty much taking it as one because I actually really, really like and prefer the white. I really love the fact that this has adjustable spaghetti straps. That's so important because we all have different boob sizes. So you want to be able to tailor the spaghetti strap according to your actual boob size. I do want to apologize for it not being ironed because it is a little wrinkled towards the bottom but this romper is really nice. It is on the shorter side however it's not the kind of romper that will have your butt being exposed the minute that you bend over. This is double lined and a thicker material here. But once again if you're not wearing a bra that won't be a problem. I wasn't wearing a bra when I tried it on and I really really love this. I think this is going to be great for the summertime especially if you have a special event to go to. This is really really cute and I cannot wait to wear this so this is the love puppy midi dress this goes for $14.99 and this is available in black rust and olive I picked up the black one obviously this is a tank midi dress it is a scoop neck in the front and it's also a scoop neck in the back as well has amazing stretch I mean look at that this is 96% polyester and 4% spandex polyester is a man-made fiber so it's not necessarily real cotton usually when something is real cotton you'll notice that it is a little bit more expensive because cotton takes a while to grow to harvest to pick so for that reason it's much easier and cheaper to make polyester it does feel really nice I'm curious to see if it pills because this material sometimes does pill the more that you wear it and wash it this does say that it does have buttons however be wary of the fact that the buttons the first I want to say 80% of the buttons are fake these are not real buttons um, these just look like buttons but you can't actually snap them yeah the last four buttons are the only ones that you can snap off but anything before that from the top to here you cannot these are not actually usable buttons that you can snap on and off so keep that in mind I thought it was going to be that way um, but I still like the dress either way. I like the fact that you can unbutton the bottom, especially if you want a little bit more leg cleavage. This with a cute little hat and some sandals or even some sneakers if you want to dress it all the way down. This is going to be really cute. It's a very comfortable dress. But yeah, this is cute and kind of a no-brainer outfit to throw on in the summer, so I really like this. So these are the Saying Hello Heeled Sandals. These are a mule with a croc detail. 
and I really love these. They have the square toe, which is very trendy right now, and I've been dying for a white pair of mules because you guys know from my sandals for summer video that I'm very into mules. Um, I just feel like they're the most comfortable heel. I love that you can kind of just slip them on and off. You don't have to think too much. You don't have to worry about straps or anything. I love that the band is kind of unique because it's thicker on one end and then it starts to get thinner. So. It's very cute. It's very flattering on the foot and it's very comfortable. It has a slight cushion right here which is nice for your heel. But yeah, I'm excited for these. You can definitely tell these are the type of mules that you can really dress up or down. We can, can truly wear them however. I think I'm probably going to pair these with the khaki romper. I think it would be a very cute look. But yeah, these are adorable and I just know I'm going to get so much use out of these this summer. Alright guys, and that's going to wrap up my summer Fashion Nova try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.